What's up guys, Noah from Template FC here and today I'm going to be showing you how to use our new kit builder template mockup. And this is the perfect Photoshop file for creating soccer or football kits. And we've made it as simple as possible with this, um, this template. And basically it's one file and it comes with a lot of customization as you can see um, if I scroll down here. We have different sleeve options, texture options, and a bunch of collar options. Um, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to go about using this and creating your own custom kits to your satisfaction or to your liking with just one file. You don't have to buy a bunch of different mock-up templates with different collars and things like that. It's all in one. Um, it is only the front view for now. Other views will be coming um, in the future. Uh, but obviously these take a little bit of time to make, so it might be some time in between. This is what the mockup looks like when you first open it. Um, by the way, to open our file, it comes as a TIFF file because they're a little um, smaller in size than Photoshop files. But if you right click, open with, and Photoshop, it will open like a normal Photoshop file. And then if you want to save it as a PSD, you can just go to File, um, Save As, and then change the type of file to a Photoshop file if you prefer. Um, but as you can see, this is a normal Photoshop file once it's opened. And also we're going to be using some of the patterns from our 2020, 2021 patterns pack. Um, part one, there might be a part two coming to this pack as more patterns come out. Um, so be on the lookout for that, but we'll be using a pattern from that. And we're going to actually be recreating a leads kit here. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started with the creation process. So the first thing I like to do is always open up the designs folder and add the front design, um, basically get our colors and our logos set up. So I'm gonna open up the front design and let's go ahead and add that stuff. So I already have a Leeds logo pulled up here. I'm doing this because they literally just got promoted today and I am in the process of creating a um, whole Premier League redesign again. So let's add that on top of our template FC logo, which we can delete if we don't want it. And you'll notice we have our Adidas logo already here, and I believe Leeds is going to Adidas next season. So we're gonna be doing Adidas uh, and not Kappa, which is their current sponsor. And then let's go ahead and get the 32 Red Kit sponsor, which I believe will be their sponsor for next year. And if I press Command H, um, I'll get this, this guide in the middle, and I'm gonna press Command T to line this up in the center. There we go. Maybe move it up a bit like that. Perfect. Um, also, you notice we have the Adidas logo already here and there's also a Nike one. And these are um, color layers, so you just double click here to change the color to anything. So it's nice and simple. I'm gonna hide these bottom two layers and add a solid color. And it's gonna be white because obviously the Leeds kit is white. But let's zoom in here, Command minus to zoom in on the logo and let's grab these colors. So I'm gonna grab the yellow and the blue and I'm just gonna leave them in my sidebar over here so I have them. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna command click the sponsor layer here and then go down and get a solid color and make that blue. And then I can go ahead and delete that layer. And you'll notice we have a little line here so we're gonna have to get rid of that. But I'm gonna make this 32 red and let me select the layer mask, zoom in here, and let's get rid of this weird line. I'm just gonna use the rectangle marquee tool real fast. And I have black as my secondary color, so I'm gonna press Command Delete, Command D to deselect, and that'll get rid of it, perfect. And let me get rid of these little lines here as well on the D. I don't know if this is actually part of the logo, I'm imagining it's not, but Command Delete to do the same thing. Perfect, there we go. And then let's also command select, um, actually no, we have the Adidas logo. Let's just double click it and make it blue. There we go. So let's save that and come back over and now we can set up our colors and everything else. So that's set up, that looks nice. Let's open up the colors folder and you'll notice there is only three color options and really you could hide these and just make the base white uh, this is only for if you're making these two different colors, the front and the back. So I'm going to do that. Also, you'll notice we have Adidas stripes here. And these are separate from the front design. You'll notice if we come to the front design, 
there is Nike stripes here that are set up for us. So if we come in here, and obviously you wouldn't use the Nike stripes on an Adidas kit if you're doing like a concept kit. Um, but if I save that, you can see those are the Nike stripes. Let's get rid of them. Um, and then we also have the Adidas stripes. Um, which are, those are just the side stripes. We also have the shoulder stripes right there. Oops. Um, so we can use those as well. Uh, but let's go ahead to the sleeves first. So you'll notice we have the three cuts of sleeves. So basically, uh, we have the standard sleeve right now. It's your normal sleeve. Then there is the special cut sleeve, which is the Adidas special cut sleeve. Uh, for the World Cup 2018, they implemented this new cut that kind of extends the jersey a little longer so you could get more of your design on there. Um, and then we have extended sleeves, of course, that go all the way up to the collar. And that's an option. I'm going to go with the standard sleeves for this and, and call it a day. And if you open that up, you can choose the color. So we're going to make the sleeves white, of course, to match our jersey. And then we'll add our designs there uh, once we get around to it. Um, the next thing we can mess around with are the textures. So there's a texture folder up at the top here. It's orange. And if I zoom in here, I'll go to this sleeve. You'll notice there's no textures going on. It's just the shadows of a plain uh, model, jersey model. If I check the Nike, you'll notice we get the Nike texture pattern from the new season of kits. Um, this is like a common pattern on all the Nike kits. It's a pretty cool looking pattern. Um, I kind of like it, but since this is an Adidas kit, I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to use a normal jersey pattern texture like so. If I zoom out and check that, you can see some parts get a little darker, but it just adds that texture. And it's not nothing too noticeable, but it still, I think, looks pretty good. Now, finally, we get to the collar options. And now this is where there's a lot of things you can do. So if I open it up, you'll see there's eight options, or seven options, I believe. You can also hide it and not use a collar, and then the front design will extend over the collar, so it's like, a collar is not there really. And I'll run through the collar options. So this one's the default and I'm actually going to change the color of our base just so you guys can see these. Um, okay, there we go. So this is the default collar. You can see it just matches what um, the collar that was there. And then we have a v-neck collar. And um, this one comes with a few more options too. So if we open it up, you can see it says enable the layer below this layer um, or en enable the mask below this layer. So this is this mask. If I cl right click this X and enable, you'll notice it cuts that bottom part off and that's a different style of collar. And then if we want that to come back, we just um, disable it again and boom, it comes back. If we open that up again, you'll see we have a front collar option. And let me just zoom in here so you guys are seeing everything. The front collar part is this flap here, so we can hide that or make it visible and add a design to it if we wanted. Then if we open up the designs folder, of course we have the colors at the bottom, but if we open up the designs folder, there is a green layer, which is an overlap option. So if we check that, you'll notice it gives us an overlapped collar. So you have those choices and then you can Customize everything on the collar. As you see here, there is smart objects all around it and in the inside. The next collar is a crew neck overlay. Um, there is a separate crew neck without the overlay or, or the overlap rather. Um, we have a normal like polo collar then. A Nike collar. This is like the Nike collars from the past season with the stripe down the back. And then we have the new Nike collar, which is a little different. The stripe doesn't go all the way down the back. It's just on the collar part. And then it also comes with the optional front flap here, front collar, whatever you want to call it. And then finally, we have a standard crew neck, which is like your basic jersey uh, collar style. I'm going to go ahead and check the V-neck because that's what I'm going to be using, some variation of it at least. Um, but let's go back to the front design and get our color white back and save that. And if we come back, now we can kind of figure out what we want our design to be. 
So I don't actually have a plan for my leads redesign when I'm doing like my whole Premier League redesign. So I'm just gonna kind of use an Adidas pattern on this for this tutorial. So I'm gonna open up my template FC patterns pack and we're gonna go into some of these patterns and see what we can use. All right, one of the new Adidas patterns that they're using on a couple kits is this like really kind of cool cartoony looking one. Um, I don't really know what to call it, but it's a pretty unique pattern. And I just have it called Adidas pattern in the template FC pack. So if we just go ahead and drag that to our front view here, you can see that fits real nice on here. I don't want it to be, um, I don't want it to stand out too much, kind of want it to be subtler. So we're gonna make it like a silver, and just have it subtly in the background. And if we save that, let's see what it's looking like. There you go, it looks pretty cool. Um, nice subtle pattern. We can do some cool things with it too. Uh, so maybe we create a new layer and right or alt click on that new layer to make it a clipping mask. Click at the bottom of it, get a rectangle tool and maybe we just incorporate a little bit of the yellow and go over the top of the Adidas logo and the Leeds logo. And since it's a clipping mask, it will just cover that part of the pattern. And I, I think that looks pretty neat. Maybe we even duplicate it one more time and do the blue as well. And maybe make that one a little smaller and bring it up to the top a little bit. And that's something pretty cool. Um, I don't know if there's a jersey in the history of Leeds that looks anything like this, but I figured it's a pretty cool design to just kind of mess around with. And yeah, there you go. It looks pretty neat. Maybe we make the pattern a little subtler. So um, we could just come here to the opacity and maybe bump it down to 50. Actually, no, let's just make the gray closer to white. Let's do that. So that's a lot subtler. Yeah, there we go. That looks okay. I'm fine rolling with that. I'm gonna close my patterns pack and we'll leave the front open. Now let's go to our sleeves and um, they're here in the standard sleeves. By the way, the standard sleeves and the special cut sleeves have the same smart objects, as well as most of the collars have share the same smart objects. So when you change something on the sleeves or the collar, it does it to all of them. I think the collar exception is the crew neck doesn't. Um, that's its own separate ones. And then for the sleeves, the extended sleeves are different because obviously it's a longer, um, smart object but let's open up the right sleeve and the left sleeve and I'm gonna hide the grid on both of these and we'll do some simple uh, sleeve trim so let's double click the rectangle layer and make that blue and there's a stroke on here already so if we enable that and then double click stroke we can go ahead and choose yellow and let's go ahead copy that layer style save that layer pop over to the other sleeve, make that blue as well, and then just right click, paste that layer style, save it, and let's go back and see what we have. And there you go, we got a pretty cool looking sleeve trim, pretty basic. Uh, the right sleeve trim I think has to go up a little bit to make it even, there we go. Um, nice simple sleeve trim. If we hide the collar, we can kind of get a better idea of what this is looking like. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, obviously, we'd want to add some logos to the sleeves, but for time purposes, I'm not going to do that. Um, also, right about now, we can figure out where we want the Adidas stripes, because obviously every Adidas kit has the Adidas stripe somewhere. So we could do the side here. Uh, if I double click on that and make it blue, there is an option. Uh, but we also have these shoulders here. So if I close these sleeves and open up these shoulders, you can see we have black layer with white um, stripes. So we could do a white background color with blue stripes or just do the stripes. Um, so for this one, maybe we don't make a background color, just do blue stripes, save it. And then for this one, maybe we do the white stripes or the white background with the blue stripes. And I'll show you the difference real fast. So if I zoom in, the one without the background um, 
the pattern continues on below it but the one with the white in the background kind of cuts off the pattern and kind of looks better so i'm going to go ahead and make sure that the background's white uh, but that allows you the option to add solid colors to the shoulders there too if you pick the short sleeve options or the standard or special cut sleeve options and I mentioned how the sleeves are the same smart objects and so when you go to the standard sleeves and hide them if you bring up the special cut sleeves you notice it has the same um, layer objects on it the only difference is the background color is different so I can make these white real quick and then I can go back and forth and see which one I like better. It's hard to say, I actually think the special cut looks a little better, so we're gonna rock with that. And you'll notice I don't have to go in and change the sleeves because it's already updated, it's real nice. Um, so let's go ahead and do something with the collar. So if I open up the V-neck collar folder, let's open this up. I'm gonna hide the designs for now. Let's select the color of the um, jersey. So this is the back of the jersey or the inside, which we're gonna make white. The collar, let's go ahead and make that blue. And you'll notice that's the front of the collar. We could make the back of the collar like yellow or something. Um, I'm just gonna hide it so the whole thing's blue. Nice and simple, there we go. And I'm also gonna come in and enable this layer mask because I like that cutoff um, from the bottom. This is a common Adidas um, collar style, so I'm gonna use it. And I'm not gonna use the front bit. Um, I think with this collar style, it looks better without it. But let's open up this um, design and open up all the stripes. So the overlap is not going to be visible, so we're not going to use that layer. But let's open up all the other collar layers. So this is the right front, the left front, the right back, the left back, and then the back back. Um, so what do we want to do for the collar? Let's do just blue and yellow. Um, so there's already a rectangle in here with a color fill, so if you want to do um, a style of stripe similar to this. It's real easy, but I'm going to do something else. I'm actually going to take this rectangle, go to the top, and then bring this down to about midway like that. And let's go ahead and make this, make this yellow and then the bottom part blue. If I save that and come back, this should be the very back. Yep, there you go. Um, and let's actually flip that. Let's bring the yellow to the bottom. There we go. And then we can go through all the other collars and doing the and do the uh, exact same thing. So um, these ones will be the same here. So the left and right. So I'm just going to add that to the bottom here. Make that blue. Save it. Do the same thing to this one. save it and if we come back you'll see yep we got both sides and now these back ones are a little unique so i'm going to close all but one of these guys you can see these ones are up and down instead of um, horizontal so if i go ahead and add this rectangle to one of these command t hold shift and rotate i'm going to add it to one side let's hide the other one make this one blue save it you can see it lines up nicely but you would think when we go to this one we're gonna add the yellow to the other side um, but it's actually not because it's actually mirrored so we're gonna have to add it to the same exact spot and what I mean by that if we drag that rectangle over add it also to the left side and it will update it and flip it put it on the right side so these are the exact same and it flips it for you so keep that in mind it's the same with the front collar um, but we didn't notice that because it was on a horizontal layer, so it's a little different. But yeah, if I want to check out what the other collars look like, they should use um, some of the smart objects from this one, so it will overlap the color except this left um, panel. So if I go to the default, let's say, you can see it updates it with those same smart objects except, except um, this one, so you just have to update that one. Uh, same thing here. Uh, yeah, this is its own one because it's a very unique collar, so that's its own smart objects. This one, same deal, just got to update that one. And then this is its own smart objects, and then this one is its own smart objects. So you'd have to add your own in there. 
And that's it for this tutorial guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more tutorials on some of our mockups and stuff. If you buy this template and use it, be sure to tag us in any work on Twitter or Instagram and we'll share it with uh, our followers on those platforms as well. Be sure to check it out along with our patterns pack to create your very own custom jerseys. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.